An update now to a story that we brought to you at six regarding a controversial ordinance that would allow cryptocurrency mining within one city in the east. Tonight, Greenville City Council met to discuss whether or not to keep the ordinance in place. Jalen Holloway was at that meeting and is live now with more details. Jalen. Well, Dave, I have to tell you, there was a lot of deliberation between Greenville City Council members tonight as they tried to figure out what's going to be best for the community when it comes to the cryptocurrency mining ordinance, both economically and environmentally. Should the city of Greenville allow cryptocurrency mining? Hmm. It's been a reoccurring topic of discussion for the city council and continue to be so Monday night. But I think you've got to understand the purpose of it and make sure that if you're going to make modifications to it, it's done correctly and it's not going to make an adverse uh, issue where uh, it's going to make it worse than it really was. Councilwoman Marion Blackburn has been at the forefront pushing against the ordinance that would let crypto companies operate within Greenville. Some residents agree with Blackburn's opposition and believe the ordinance will be harmful down the line. We can do things in a better way. Long term, I think it's, it's irresponsible. It's indefensible. We can't keep doing things the way we have been doing them. After a long discussion, the council unanimously agreed on a motion to have city staff conduct a report that will be brought back to them with a text amendment to consider amending the ordinance. Mayor PJ Conley says it's vital for the council to keep the people in mind during this decision process. It's very important that the uh, city council thinks about the ordinance, makes a uh, uh, concerted effort to be able to come up with a solution that's gonna be good for the entire community at whole. Now this discussion about cryptocurrency mining began back in 2022 when a company called Compute North expressed a desire to set up modular data processing in Pitt County but failed and that's when the city came in with the current ordinance, Dave. All right, thanks Jalen. And Blackburn says there's currently no crypto companies seeking business in Greenville, which is why she believes now is the time for the future of the ordinance.